With the summer coming to a close, we're looking forward to all the wonderful things that fall has to offer. Pumpkin spice, colder evenings, and a brand new season of The Kardashians on Hulu. In a teaser for season two of the show, we get even closer to America's favorite reality TV family, starting with the devastating interview that nearly but not quite ruined Kim K. And we have to talk about it. To start with, let's look at what got Kim into this mess. Kim Kardashian is always the first to admit the mistakes she makes. Well, okay, probably not the first but she does acknowledge them. Eventually, in an interview with Variety, she stated that she had the best business advice for women. Get your f***ing ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. People were understandably upset that this advice came from someone born into riches, and she faced a barrage of criticism, including a few from notable names, such as Jamila Jamil. Jamil tweeted that she doesn't think anybody needs to hear someone's ideas on success or work ethic if they grew up in Beverly Hills with highly rich parents in what was just a smaller mansion to the millionaires across the street. The unsettling statements triggered a debate on Kim's privilege as the daughter of prominent lawyer Robert Kardashian. Critics lambasted her for her advice, forcing her to issue an immediate apology, saying that her message to anyone who wants to succeed in growing a business or brand, since she comes from a unique space, reality show, or social media stardom, is to work hard. Her comment was apparently never intended to be a broad blanket statement or even to refer to the idea that women don't already work hard, and she said that she's sorry that it was perceived in that way. We really love these kinds of apologies. Just acknowledge you were wrong without taking accountability for it. There's just something so backhanded and fun about them. Moving on, why are we talking about this again? Everything was done and dusted, people were moving on, nature was healing, and the dolphins were returning. But then Kim came back around and reignited the flame. Really, girl? You couldn't just let it rest, now could you? We get that celebrities can't take criticism, but when they do manage to mess up and let reality slip a little, they just don't let go. Kim just had to get this off of her chest. At this point, you're probably wondering what we're going on about. Okay, here's some context. Remember that teaser we mentioned before? In that short clip, Kim and Chloe can be heard addressing the drama, and it's a tad tone deaf. It went something like this. Did you see all of the backlash on the interview? Oh no, no one sympathizes with you. I'm mortified, and I do understand what I possibly could have done wrong. Come on, why even say that? Which part do you or your detached from reality group of PR experts not understand? At the time of the scandal, comedian Catherine Ryan offered an interesting take that may offer some context to what may otherwise appear to be a totally insensitive statement. To Ryan, she was never addressing people that work hard day and night slaving away just to make their bosses richer than they already are. She's giving us the girl boss grind set, if anything, talking to girls that are more or less like her, that get lazy. She's talking to Courtney, and that's a pretty good read, probably. Following that, Kim still being this defensive is kind of strange, right? It's weird. We can't wrap our head around where she's going with this. Does she really not get why her saying what she said would piss people off so much? Things aren't really as simple as just, oh, you're poor. That must mean you don't work hard enough in the real world. A CEO doesn't make more money than their workers because they work harder and aren't lazy. It's capitalism 101, Kim. You should know better than anyone. But what if? Maybe she keeps running circles around this because she's trying to cover up her tracks. Let's back track a little. Kim said that the question about her business advice for women was asked by the interview. Variety's chief correspondent, Elizabeth Wagmeister, who kind of implied that she's only famous for being famous. This, according to her, changed her entire attitude and tone. Elizabeth, on the other hand, pushed back against Kim's accusations, tweeting that she'd asked her a very clear question and that the question about her being famous for being famous came afterward. It's not what she claims. Elizabeth said on Twitter, she basically went through the raw footage. The question was straightforward. What advice would you give to women in business? Nothing more, nothing less. This isn't a new routine at all. And it is true to some extent, too. Women in business have always suffered at the hands of the patriarchy, and their achievements are always undermined by saying that they're only successful because of the way they look. Kim has had to deal with this for the longest time. Lastly, Kim isn't the only star of the show. The second season, which Chloe 
Chloe calls insanity also focuses on her conflict with her baby daddy Tristan Thompson, Chris's health concerns, and Kendall's brand 818. Chloe found out Thompson had cheated on her with a trainer from Texas towards the finale of the first season of The Kardashians. Marilee Nichols filed a petition in a Texas court alleging Thompson was the father of her unborn child. Chloe had initiated the surrogacy procedure with Thompson before learning of the affair. We'll have to see how things will pan out in this season, and it couldn't start any sooner. Now moving on to other news. First up, is Kanye finally figuring things out peacefully? On Saturday, Kanye posted on Instagram that he had a nice meeting with his ex-wife concerning their children's schooling. The news comes after he fiercely revealed screenshots of his phone messages with her about where their children should attend school. When he returned to Instagram this weekend, he said, sorry for the delay in posting. I just had a productive discussion with Kim concerning the schools. However, he used the remainder of his caption to continue slamming a bunch of people, including Adidas CEO Daniel Cherry, Kid Cudi, Pete Davidson, and others. The children are currently enrolled at a prestigious private school in Los Angeles, but Kanye desired that they be transferred to his recently founded Donda Academy, a Christian school named after his late mother. You don't get to choose where the kids go to school. School. He raged at Kim in his text. He also made fun of Kris Jenner, who he called Kris Jong-un a few years ago. Kim responded by forwarding a message from Kris, who asked him to stop berating her since it stresses her that she's gotten too old for these things. Kanye putting his personal life on public display always feels very wrong. Sure, he's been reasoned with and resolved one conflict while he's at it, but that doesn't absolve him of constantly making people uncomfortable online. Moving forward, Bethany Frank Frankel has something to say to the Kardashians. Bethany Frankel slammed the Kardashian slash Jenner family for posting heavily edited and doctored photos online, claiming that these photos cause eating disorders and despair in people. The former Real Housewives of New York actress told TMZ that Kardashians' doctored photos are not empowering, but rather discouraging. It's not fair, she says, to women who are just trying to make ends meet. It's irresponsible, risky, not inspiring, and and not ambitious. Photos like these make moms more self-conscious too. They don't have time to do all of the editing, and they don't even know how to use the tech. The more we see these pictures, the more convinced we are that they are genuine. Frankel argued that it then becomes a false ideal. She went on to advise people to be content with themselves as they are, adding, wear some makeup. If you want to get plastic surgery and also be open about it, that's your business. However, when it comes to plastic surgery, filters, and Photoshop, the playing field is far from even. People who were already millionaires have access to so much more, and it makes the average person feel bad about themselves all the time. Naturally, this comes after Kim was criticized for Photoshopping her trapezius muscle in a shot of her enjoying a drink. To wrap things up, Photoshop isn't the last of people's problems. We've all seen the famed Hulu film of Kim Kardashian receiving the news that she he passed the baby bar test at a Red Lobster parking lot. Some fans, however, feel the incident was staged and that she didn't pass the test. She originally announced in 2019 that she will pursue a four-year legal apprenticeship. This followed years of her now increased activism on prison and criminal justice reform issues. The conspiracy, on the other hand, isn't that deep. The first-year law student's examination, sometimes known as the baby bar exam, is a one-day test provided remotely to people wishing to become attorneys. The test has a pass rate of 21%. Fans claim that Kardashian's instructors did not publicly congratulate her. But this is false. Other followers in the subreddit discussion question Kardashian's ability to pursue a law profession, considering her present hectic schedule. It feels like people are just trying to expose her one way or the other at this point. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Kim's comments? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!